Happy Tuesday. Tuesday! How's everybody doing? Welcome back to Makers Gonna Learn YouTube channel. I'm Alicia. This is Lauren. Um, we are just building up the excitement to Summit this uh, week. I hope we you guys, sure are. We had a good long live stream yesterday. That was so much fun. Um, we did a countdown to Christmas. If y'all missed it, make sure you go back and watch it. Lauren taught that tutorial, and there's lots of good little little tidbits in there. Good little tidbits. It was a very yeah. involved project, but I have yeah. seen some people already in our Facebook group Redoing re it? not creating that, but okay. using like the vintage Santa frame. Oh, and that file is amazing. There was somebody, and if you're here with us that recreated um, ornaments oh, with inkjet ink jet transparency, and they were beautiful. Oh, okay. Like the Santa inside the ornament. Oh. So cute. I love it. I love that inkjet transparency film. So if you guys miss out, make sure to go back and watch it. It was a lot of fun. Um, obviously, we're going live a little bit more than usual this week because Summit is on Thursday. Yes. That's our member-only event. You, When you become a member, you get immediate ticket to that summit we do it yearly and it's so much fun it's like a full day of crafting with us and if you're not a yearly member right now is the perfect time to jump in on that because we are doing our biggest sale of the year mm -hmm. 75 dollars off bringing the price down below 200 dollars to craft with us for a year but yep. not only that you get grandfathered in plus Plus, you get your hands on the 30-day challenge Master Your Cricut Workbook. You will get this mailed and shipped to you. And on top of that, Tanner decided to open up 100 spots for our Craft Hack Handbook. Now, this is going to be like a pre-sale. So, no matter what you purchase today, whether it be our yearly membership, which if you are new, this is definitely the way I would go. Uh, um, yeah, you can't, too. you literally can't beat this. No. Um, so, this your printed and shipped to you workbook. Now, if you do become a yearly member today, you get automatic access to this like immediately. Um, you just will not, it'll be a, like probably another week before you get your physical copy in hand, but mm -hmm. you can already start with it today. Yes. So, everyone's first of all, Grandpa Chic Lauren over here. Grandpa <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> We're calling her Grandpa Lauren, but someone already said they like your hat. Sin said she loves your hat. First of all, the hat was from Alicia. Oh, like, I did get you You got me this for my 30th birthday. I did, I forgot. You can see how much I've worn it. It's like really dirty. Like it's, I'll wear it. It's a trucker it's, hat. It's meant to be worn in. I know, but it's my go-to. I love it. It's my go-to And this hat. is the dressed in Lala that we were talking yeah. about yesterday. Is this a fashion YouTube? Can we start it? Okay, wait. We're crafting and fashion. We're gonna do it. Nails of the day, <laughs> outfit of the day, mainly on Lauren. We ain't doing my nails. My nails ain't been done in three weeks. Both we're, of us are struggling mm -hmm. on the nail bus. Getting them done Friday, oh, hopefully. Phew, oh, I need to go too. Thank goodness. Anyways, anyways, I just had to uh, include that because everybody was commenting on your outfit. Um, so uh, Lauren's always cute if you guys are new around here. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> only <laughs> I'm not cute up until about five minutes before, before the live stream. <laughs> uh, me on the other hand, my sweatshirt that I wore to work was so stained that I literally put this on. This is an applique sweatshirt I made that we Lauren did a tutorial. Yeah, I did a for. tutorial on it. Um, yeah. So there's that. But anyways. Um, yeah, hopefully you guys are hanging out with us all week. Today, we're not actually creating a project. We're going to be showing you all some of our favorite font hacks. And if you guys know me, I'm like obsessed with fonts. It's my favorite design yes. segment or like segment thing. I don't know what you want to call it, but I love fonts and working with them. Patrick's and here too. Hi, Hi Patrick. Patrick. <laughs> uh, I say Maker's Gonna Learn Become Maker's Gonna Strut. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, I also have the matching. Oh, you gotta plug the shoes. Gotta plug the shoes, the hot pink dunks. Oh my gosh. Well, listen, I've still got my gym clothes on. Oh, I went me to and, the gym. We we and Alicia did. did hit up the gym this morning. We almost died, so you're welcome for us being here. Yes. We've been it's trying like, CrossFit out. Have you guys have heard of CrossFit? I can't, before? my arms can't go past here right now. <laughs> It's like, this is as far as I can go. Lauren was killing it this morning, and the trainer was like, you can slow down if you want to to me. I'm like, do I look like I'm struggling that hard? I really was not. But anyways, it was oh, fun. Goodness. So, um, But yes, we're going to be working on fonts today. So if you guys have questions throughout, feel free to kind of let me know because I want to address any questions you have. And I've only got, not only, but I'm going to be bringing you guys about seven different font hacks and tips, if you will. So these are ones that you can incorporate into like multiple different designs yes. and things like that. 
Um, so, but you know, when you do become a member, if you're not a member already, we have it broken down in our Master Your Cricut book. Uh -huh. um, we, you will get it digitally when you become a member and it shows you how to like upload fonts and install them and all of that. Um, I'm going to walk you all through that a little bit today, but mainly we're going to be showing you how to use them once they're in Design Space. So. Now, we did have a question, and we had someone ask, if you're a monthly member, can you participate in Thursday, or is it only for yearly members? So, back a little while ago, there were monthly members and yearly members. There were quite a few things that were different. However, we decided to pretty much make monthly and yearly the same other than the price point, mm -hmm. except for this one event. We wanted to keep something special for our yearly members. Mm -hmm. So this is specifically for yearly members as a yearly member perk. The only other thing that they, that yearly members get that is different is the biggest discount. Like you end up paying, I want to say like $120 more if you're monthly, but it yeah. is broken down into smaller chunks. So it's more right. digestible. So this is a, yearly member only perk but like we said this is an absolutely phenomenal time to mm -hmm. jump in on yearly membership if you have been a monthly member and you can't afford to go ahead and jump into yearly membership i'm telling you with the perks that you're getting the craft hack handbook right. um, the 30 days to master cricket book printed and shipped to you it's amazing like the perks right. that, that what you'll get if you go ahead and jump in on yearly membership today and if you're unsure if you've been grandfathered in we see that question a lot make sure to email us hi hi at makers gonna learn.com yes. and they'll answer any questions even if you have other questions that's our customer service so it goes directly to them and if they don't know the answer we get it um, so we can help you out over there if you have any other questions regarding like membership or anything so it's nice that we've got some customer service ready to go. Um, does anyone have questions um, up until, I'm sorry, about what we've just talked about? Yeah. I lost my words I was, for a I was, I, was I was replying to Sandy. She oh, said, okay. wait until you do the 12 days of CrossFit, uh, the 12 days of CrossFit workout of the day, mm -hmm. which is what we're in the middle of the named workouts. Oh, we are. We're, we're doing in the already? middle of the 12 days of named workouts. Oh, well, I don't, I'm not so scared now. I mean, it, yeah, it's been intense. But yeah. I was like, mm. these are all named workouts. That's okay. why they have been intense. I was wondering why they kept making such a big deal about that. I was like, yeah, what are talking because it's a big deal. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's just go ahead and get started. And I say let's do it. If I mean, have questions, just pop yeah. them in the chat. Okay. And I put the list on my phone. I don't know why I couldn't get the dang printer to work. Um, let me pull that up really fast so I can have it ready here. And I'm going to show you guys stuff. I swear there are things that I do in design space regularly that I don't even realize that I do that I've done forever. That really is kind of a hack. So we'll just play around in design space and just kind of show you how I do things and things like that. So yes, let me and this is, share screen this is definitely one that I feel like we all need to we're not going to be distracted by crafts. This is going to be a design space heavy workshop, yeah. design space heavy live. And this is one where you are going to be able to take in so much knowledge and learn so many things. Um, there it goes. Cross. Beautiful. It's giving me a heart palpitation. It's okay. I was like, this thing. This is how I'm we do it. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Let's get logged in. But uh, we have so many people always ask us questions about font pairing, font hacks, all of these things. And y'all, this is the one you need. To, you're gonna. It's gonna be worth it. Um, is it our mouse dead? This is just the bane of my existence right now. This mouse. Okay, where's the other? Oh, Sadie's using it. Where's the white one? Where's look our, in the drawer? Okay, right there. I see it, shiny, over to your, oh, right there, and at your hand, under your hand, right there. Is that not it? No. Under the tape measure? No. no. Okay, sorry. It just looks shiny and white. It, there's a lot of shiny white stuff. Oh, what's this? That's an, <laughs> that's not a mouse. It's a dry erase marker. Okay. Get to, oh. Give us, give us a second. Give us a second. If you guys have questions about the summit or membership or anything, go ahead and drop those in the comments now while we try to get our mouse situation sorted. If for, okay. Oh, it's already connected over here. You can just use mine. Okay. Mine will be in the chat. Yeah. Okay. I'll so be in the Lauren's chats. in the chat yeah. instead of Sadie, but Sadie will be producing on the other stuff. Um, okay. Except I can't drop links. That's okay. okay. If you guys need links, we can 
Well, we've got one pinned. We've got our Craft Act handbook yep. pinned. And then here at the end, we can plug more links if we need to. Um, what you can do, I'll go ahead and grab something to charge that uh, mouse with so that hopefully it will Perfect. be charged. And then we can give that one back to Sadie. So give me two seconds. Okay. Okay. Are we on the share screen, Sadie? Beautiful. Okay. So I am already in Design Space. We're gonna be working mainly in Design Space, but before we do any of our hacks, I'm just gonna sh show you all the basics. So I'm gonna show you how to get onto your website, download a font, and pull it into Design Space. That's like where you wanna start when you're working with fonts. I want you guys to know the basics before you start jumping into hacks and things like that, just because you need to know, you need to have a good foundation. So we're gonna go to our website. So this is just the makersgonnalearn.com and I'm in the cut file section, but you can just pop over to the fonts portion. Just gonna click on that. And so you can see, and look, we just got new font. We got a couple of new fonts here. Um, and then these are all new, but you can sit and scroll through all of these fonts. You can even preview a font. So if you're like, I'll, I'll know what kind of font I wanna look for, but I wanna be able to see what I'm typing out in a preview. Um, I use, I always use the word lovely when I'm testing fonts, um, especially for videos and stuff. You guys see me do a font video, I use the word lovely. Um, anyways, so side note, lots of fonts here, but look, you can see in the sample text how all of these are gonna look. I'm obsessed with this athlete font. It has given me a retro football cheerleader love romance vibes. Yes. Have you seen it? <laughs> yes. Okay, so now that I have chosen my font, if that's the one we want, you're just gonna click on this little circle right here with the down arrow, just click on it, okay? It's gonna pop somewhere. You're gonna see an icon up here with your downloads. It may even go to the bottom of your screen. Um, just try to see where it goes. If for some reason you're like, I didn't see it go anywhere, you can go to your finder or your search bar and type in the name of the font. So like I can go to my finder right here. I'm already in my downloads and then athlete is right here. Okay. So I could get to it that way, or I could just pull down that recent download history and it's right there as well. So it downloads as a zip folder which means it's like a compressed folder. We have to unzip it to get everything out. So what we're gonna do, you guys can't see me, but I'm like talking with my hands. I'm like, you have to unzip it yep, and, yep. and no one's even looking at me. Okay, so we're gonna click on that zip folder. It's gonna open it up and it'll turn into a .otf font. So that is our, that's our open top font is what that stands for. And then you're gonna need to double click it and install it. Also, just FYI, in case you all didn't know, if you install a font from the Maker's Gonna Learn website, it's going to install into either your font book or your character map, and you're gonna be able to use it over across multiple uh, applications, not yes. just design space. Right, right, that's a so, good point. So, love that. Um, but on that note, what Lauren just said, you can use it on multiple applications, and then with design space, even though we've got design space on our computer, even though we've downloaded the font onto our computer, we have to put the font into Design Space. So right now we've just downloaded the font. We've got Design Space. I'm gonna open Design Space back up. Okay, I'm just gonna pop it back up. It's been on, I haven't closed it out or anything. We just now installed that font. So it's on our computer somewhere, but until I reload Design Space, it's not on my computer at all. Okay, so I have to view and reload. If you are in the middle of a project, make sure that you all are saving your projects before you reload Design Space or you will lose any work and I would hate for that to happen. And then now we can see if, we, if the font's in there. So let's just hit this little T over here. This opens a text box for us. So if you're wanting to type anything, we're gonna type out lovely. I'm gonna hit Command A. That's gonna select everything. Command A on a Mac. And then here's our fonts It'll up here in the top left. I think it's left. control A for a, for a PC. Control A, yeah. Or Command A or control. Yeah. And then we're gonna go to system. This is where our downloaded fonts live. If you're over here in Cricut and you're like athlete and you type it in and you're searching for it, like you're not gonna find it. These are not the fonts that we downloaded, okay? 
what you need to do is go to your system and this is where all of your downloaded MGL fonts will live and any other downloaded fonts if you put any more on here. And I'm just gonna type out the name of the font and looky there, there she lives. Easy, right? It's, so easy. It sounded like a lot of steps because I was like very much breaking it down for you guys. Um, but do y'all have any questions about downloading fonts, pulling them in? I saw one about an iPhone. You can do this on iPhone. We do have tutorials tutorials on it on our website when you become a member. Um, if you're working straight from an iPhone, they used to only use iPads here. Yes. So, which is crazy to me. Wild to me. I could yeah. never... And I know that we have a lot of friends here with us that do a lot of designing and things mm -hmm. on tablets, mm -hmm. iPads, phones, all of that good stuff. Yeah. Me personally, more power, I, like I right. praise you for it because that's a feat. It's a learning and it, curve. It's a learning curve and it's it a feat in and of itself to be able to design on something that small. Mm -hmm. I am a computer girly through and through. Yeah, me too. If you have access to a laptop, it's much more easier to kind of handle and work around. Um, Susan, if you are a member, I want to encourage you all to go to the 30 Days of Master Your Cricut in your membership and work your way through that. If you're just wanting to learn fonts, there is a video specifically on what I just taught you. That is not a hack though, so I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on it today, um, but I do want to encourage you all to utilize the resources we have on our website because Y'all, we've worked really hard on putting all that on there just for our members. Yeah, and so. also, if you go go to our website, okay, I want to show them this. Click on any any font. I don't care which one it is. Okay. Scroll down once you've clicked on it, y'all. Right there's here. There's a video. Yep, there's a video. You we can did. choose if you want PC, Mac, or iOS. Yep, and then you just and then you when click. It's there it is. Yep. Oh, Ooh, goodness. I'm doing two them. at a time. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, That's just in case you all that. didn't know. <laughs> okay. Love it. Love it. You guys have had some really good questions so far. We use Max, but you can totally use, um, I used, I went to graphic design school and used Adele for the entire thing. Oh, I was a so. Dell. I was a PC girl until I started working here. Me too. Me too. I I've been too. a Windows PC girl my whole life, Me too. except for the past, how many years have I been here? Uh, yeah, two or two, or two and a half. Yeah. I mean, I like, I personally, for graphics, prefer a Mac, but like everything else, I'm fine with a PC. So it's totally personal preference. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. I have a list on my phone here. There's six different hacks I want to teach you guys today. And let's just start by... Let me just show you a project that we've done. I want to show you all a couple different ways that we've used these font hacks to incorporate them into designs. This is a water bottle that we did. Um, we did like a live on it and a video. It's a spray paint, like, I don't even know what we call this technique. But I want to show you all how you can achieve this look right here. So this is basically where you take a word and we're going to slice out the middle of the letters to give us this really cool outlined effect okay so let's go into design space and this is actually a pretty good little font to work with yeah now one question real quick that okay. I think is a very very good question Christine asked can a font be installed only on one device like can I install it on my Mac and my iPad absolutely our fonts you don't have a limited number of downloads for the fonts on our website if you have multiple devices you can download those fonts on multiple devices but if you're asking, do you have to? Yes. If I have an yes. iPad and a Mac, my iPad and Mac don't automatically sync up when it comes to system fonts. They're their own person. Yeah. When you install it onto it's the It's like the cloud, computer. the cloud works together, mm -hmm. but the system fonts is its own separate entity. So you do have to download on separate devices. However, yes. you don't have limitations on how many times or how many devices you can download our fonts on. Yes. Correct. There we go. Um, uh, Bowers, is that the dish soap tumbler? It is. It is the dish soap tumbler. Randall. I was like trying to remember what we called that. We used, um, the, what's it called? The spray soap that's blue. Yeah, Dawn Power Wash. Mm, yes, that's what mm -hmm. I was trying to say. Okay, so, um, what we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to do this hack. Now, first, well, I won't do that. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is select your word. Okay, there's a couple different ways you can achieve this. I'm going to show you what I like to do. 
we're going to select the offset. So make sure your word's selected and then come up here to offset. Now that's thick. That's a little too thick for what we're wanting to do. So let's do like a 0.15. Sometimes you have to play around um, like with the measurements. Let's do, do you feel like that's still too thick? One three. Oh. I think that's good. Okay. What? Yeah. Okay. Looks real good. Okay. And then we're going to do a, another one. Oh, another offset. Sorry. 0.13. I'm just going to keep it the same, like the same measurement, if that makes sense. And then what you're going to do is slice the black layer. So let's, Am I tripping it up? Yeah, you should have just been one. Okay, I and was like, I've done an extra step here. You have, it's just one outline, that, and then just slice your text in. Okay, so we're gonna use the offset and the first the that we typed out, out, okay? Because you, you can only slice two, through two layers. You can't do more than two when you're using the slice function. So we're gonna select both. You can just click and drag, and then you can slice. We can actually probably exclude on this yeah, one. Should we try you can exclude. it? Let's try and see what it looks like. Okay, uh, so this is what I was a little bit worried about. So when you hit exclude, it leaves the little tails of those letters that are like hidden normally. So what we're gonna do is slice We are it. gonna slice. So we're gonna select both. This is when sometimes me and Lauren are like, why do you still need that feature? Why do you still need why slice? You, this is why. This is a good representation of that. There you go. Perfect, and there's this extra little random piece. I'm gonna delete that. But look how cute that is. I love it. Me too. I just love this look. It really looks good on Isn't thicker fonts. She, lovely? <laughs> she is lovely. <laughs> so make sure when you're doing this technique, a thicker font's usually gonna work better. Um, that's just what I found. But yeah, that's just a fun little hack you can incorporate to some of your other designs. Um, something else, does anybody have questions on that before we move on to the next one? That is the first one I wanted to show you guys. So a little hacky hack, little like special, your party trick, you know. So now I wanna talk about glyphs. Who here knows what a glyph oh, is? Oh, this is hands. my favorite. This is one of my favorites also, too. Also, before we move into there, can we see if we can get that mouse working and maybe give Sadie back the mouse so she can draw. Yeah, where'd you plug it at? Oh, I plugged it in right here. You'll have to use the other mouse to get the other, to get the Apple one connected. Okay. <laughs> Just go to system. Hello, why is it not popping up? Oh, it's cause I got that up there. Yeah. Please hold. Oh my gosh, Becky. Okay, okay. System preferences and then go to Bluetooth. Where is she, where is she? Up, right over. Down, there, magic mouse, get it connected. The black this one? one? Uh-huh. Did it say it's connected? No. Let me come help. Connected, charging, okay. There you and go, and we'll give this one back to say. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, back to our regularly scheduled programming. Okay, Lauren, name me your favorite glyph font. Ooh. I know, there's a lot of good ones. There's a lot of good ones. Uh, you know what? Let me just show you guys how you can know if your font is a glyph font, and Lauren can be thinking about her favorite, and we'll use it. So what you're going to need to do if you're like, what the heck is a glyph? First of all, let me just show you. So you can go to your character map or your font book. On a Mac, it is a font book. So we're going to type in font book, hit search. Let's go to applications, type it in again. Font book, where are you at? Normally I just have to search it. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is what the font book looks like. And it's got this big F on it. If you're on a PC, it's gonna be character map. So you Claire can just Claire has some it. really good ones. Oh, Claire. Claire yes. and Bell Bottom both have some really good ones. Perfect, okay, that's what I'll use And then. Chateau. Like C-H-A-T-E-A-U? Yeah. Like Chateau? Uh-huh. Okay. Like a French. Look. They have the underlined stuff. Oh, oh yes. Okay, money. You Let's I mean? do that. Okay, so let me show you guys how you can even see, like, if any of the fonts that you already have existing on your computer have font, have glyphs. Um, so there are lots of different ways. Let's see. Lauren said Chateau. Do we have that one on here? Probably not. No, Bell we have Claire. No, and Bell Bottom is another one, I'm pretty sure. Okay, okay. And then um, the swoosh. 
Oh yeah. There, if you just type in swoosh, there should be a bunch. There's a bunch. Okay, I want to show you guys right here. These are glyphs. Do you guys see all this fancy, bougie, like extra? So like, normally. When you download a font, you get all of the punctuation, the numbers, the uppercase, lowercase, etc. And then you'll get um, like the Spanish and other language little like, um, what do they call these? I don't know what they're called. The little symbols over the letters. And then some of them have glyphs. And so it's like a fancier version of a basic letter. So like we have a normal K, but you can see here. Let me see if I can zoom in for you. It doesn't, here, let me bump the size up to like 72, perfect. Um, so like here, look, we've got three different options for the case. Isn't that so cute? I'll show you bell bottom too if we've got it. Yeah, we do. This font is one of those like retro swirly fonts that I love and it looks so good when you incorporate the glyphs into designs using these fonts. Let me scroll down and I'll get to them. All glyphs are going to be found at the bottom. Yeah, they're like at the very last thing on the whole thing and you usually have to scroll through all this. Look at that A. Yeah. OMG. Uh -huh. I love the double letters that they offer too. Yeah. I think that's so fun. So Lots. let's use bell bottom for today's glyph tutorial, okay? So if you don't already have Bellbottom on your font, like on your font list, go ahead, go to the website, download Bellbottom, and what you're gonna do, install it like we did at the beginning of the video, and make sure you've got it pulled into design space, and I'm gonna go ahead and just type out the word that I want. Let's just, let's shrink this down and scooch it over out of the way. Okay, so let's type out, what is a good word? Uh, honey has an H in it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and change this to the bell bottom font. Okay, so I've already got bell bottom font, and I might need a space there. So you're gonna find these on a PC if you just search character map. If you go to start search character map, mm -hmm. your character map will pull up. It's gonna give you the same. It's not the exact same. Um, how do I want to say this? It's not the exact same format, yeah. but it's still, you're going to be able to find your glyphs there. Yeah, you can still scroll through all your stuff there. Yes. Okay, so this is the bell bottom font. Now the H, she's cute, but like she could be better. And oh, for so sure. that's when you have to get to go over into your font book, which is where we were at. I was thinking we could do this pretty lowercase H there, but how do I get it to design space? I don't know. So. What you need to do is just come over here. We're going to literally just copy this, okay? Hold on. Of course, it's not going to let me. This mouse is just not wanting to lock me Just do today. Command-C. We'll see. Okay. So, Command-C or right-click and copy whatever your heart desires. Or Control-C on a PC. Yes. And then I'm going to delete the H out. Okay, and then I'm going to command V and plug that H back in. That is cute. Ooh, girl. That is cutie. So that's all you have to do. You've just got to plug in whatever font. And then like if you wanted to still add more, let's go. I'm going to tab over to my Y's and see if they have any Y's. No. See, that's the thing is some fonts have, but some of these fonts will work together although you may not think that they will. So bell bottom, I'm wanting to say it's, try bell bottom, I think, and Claire are very similar. Okay. And I actually used a couple pieces from Claire because Claire has like the really cute. They um, have more options. They I have, it, you have more options. <gasps> There's a Y, but it's not, it's nothing crazy though. It's very similar. No, but actually. you can use that in <gasps> this at the one? bottom. Yes. Oh, okay. And okay. put it in. But the only problem is you have to create a new text box. Well, okay. Let me. I'll, can I show them what I would do, and then you tell me what you would do? Yeah. Okay. Because I think Lauren does this differently than me, so this is fun. Because then we can show you how we would both do this. So you can't incorporate two fonts inside of one text box and box in Design Space. Unfortunately, I don't know why everybody else can't. lets you do it, but not Design Space. Right. Okay, so what I like to do is select my word. I'm going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters. 
And then so now each letter is like its own individual person. Okay. Um, and then I'm just going to command V. <gasps> because it's you can't do it. You have to change, actually change that into. You actually have to change that in from bell bottom to, to Claire. Claire. Sorry. Yes. Okay, here. And then since it's a square, we're just going to keep it highlighted. I'm going to go to the Claire font and it's going to change it to the Claire. But that see how much perfect. they work together? Yes. How well they work together? It's the same vibe. vibe. But a different, a little bit of a different font. Yes. And then, so if you wanted to cut these, I would attach them back together. Yes. Um, or unite them, whatever you prefer. And then how would you do it, Lauren? Um, would you do it much differently? I would have just, I would have just created a new text box and clicked the Claire font and then copied the end. So okay. same thing. Okay. Okay. Cool. So there you go. There was a lot of little fun tidbits in that. So now you guys know how to do glyphs. Don't you guys love it? I feel like this would be cute with that first hack that we did, but I don't know if it'll work since we just attached them. I think if I unite everything, Add an offset, apply. I just think this would be really cute. Sorry, I'm just want to see what it would look like. <gasps> that is so cute, isn't it? I love it. I want to put that on a shirt. I love it. So you guys can see already we've taken the first two or three hacks that we've learned and incorporated them into a design and design space. You could cut this now on vinyl and put it on a t-shirt and it would be so stinking cute. So does anybody have questions? And that right there is something super simple, yet very trendy and uh, very sellable. Very sellable. Very sellable. I love it. I think this is just precious. Yeah. Okay. So that's our second hack. We're two in. Let's see what we've got next. Okay. I actually just showed you guys one, um, and it was the ungroup to letters. That was the next one I was going to show you. But I'm going to show you again just so you guys can really um, get it into your head. Because the more you see it, the easier it's going to be for you guys to incorporate it. So let's type out, uh, I don't know, bougie. Okay. Is that, that ain't, you got an I. B O <laughs> you no, spell not it? bougie. Is there an, a I correct e. way to spell it? No, it's it? I E. How do you see it that way? Huh? You see it that way? Yeah. I see. I thought it was. Should we Google it? Yeah. Bad and e -E. I thought it was I E. Correct spelling for bad and bougie. <laughs> bougie is, is an intentional misspelling of bougie. Yeah. That's weird. Okay. Um, anyways, whatever. Well, let's just use a different word. <laughs> <laughs> we use a different word. <laughs> Honey, lovely, sweetheart. I don't know why I'm doing these li these words. Sweetheart. Okay, that's a good long word, so I can really show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, now I want to show you how to ungroup to letters. So you can see in that last instance, ungrouping to letters really helped us um, allow us to insert that glyph right there because we were using a different font. And so there's lots of other reasons that you want to ungroup to letters, like if you just wanted to resize one letter, you've obviously got to separate it from the te text box before you do that. So you're going to want to make sure that you've got your text box selected and then we're going to go to advanced and ungroup to letters. Okay. Now you can see here, all of these are separate. Now you can use this to do things like turning your letters sideways and like making them look cutesy poopsy like this. You can even resize your letters now individually if you wanted to, if you wanted this to be bigger. Things like that. Um, but I will say you can't, if we attach these letters back together, like if we hit combine and unite, it's now like you can't type out the whole on one straight line. You would have to go in here and manually change each letter. Does that make sense? So just a FYI, if you guys do decide to ungroup to letters, try to, I always say, try to get your editing done. Like make sure you've checked your spelling and everything before you start ungrouping your letters and putting them back together again. It just makes it a lot easier to adjust. Okay, so now not only can you ungroup to letters, but you can also ungroup to lines. So if you have multiple lines of text, you all can actually separate those lines without having to like erase it out of the text box and then copy it into another one, which is what I used to do before I knew how to do this. So I'm going to show you guys how you would do that. So let's pull in a text box. 
um, let's do lovely honey sweetheart. <laughs> And we're going to make it big. I'm going to zoom out here. Okay, so say you've got three lines of text and you need them separated. So you can kind of move them around and play with them wherever you need. What I'm going to do, make sure everything is selected. We're going to go back up to this advanced menu and ungroup to lines. And now look, there you go. Now, if you wanted to like line these up, you can select those two, hit align, center vertically. That's going to line them up perfectly. And then you can bump your text up here. Now, if you wanted them to be together, make sure you're attaching everything back together. So mm -hmm. if you ever ungroup to letters or ungroup to lines and you're still wanting things to cut together, you have to attach them. You can't just group them. You can't just let them be. You have to select them all and attach so it's one like image one solid image now one other thing since you were talking about lining up mm -hmm. one thing that i do want to sh you to show them t with that sweetheart that you were just at that is yeah. ungrouped to letters one see. thing that and this is going to be a really really it's it's not necessarily it's it's a font it's a hack just a hack in general and if you think these hacks are, you think these hacks today that we're doing are really good, you just wait. Like if you want in on that hack book, oh. you need to, y'all, you can purchase any program we have, whether it be yearly membership, mm -hmm. your mystery box, your make-a-thon ticket with your mystery box, maker's going to sublimate, all of this stuff, you're going to get a hack book sent to you free. Mm -hmm. But are we still ungrouped to letters? Yes. Okay. If you want to, let's say, you have ungrouped letters, you've moved things around, but you know that you the word sweetheart needs to be, I don't know, 10 inches wide. Okay. What you can do is take your S, keep it where it's at, take your T, move it to where it's 10 inches apart from your S by using your grid system. So what oh. is the S on right now? Let's put it at zero. Yeah. Okay. Move your T to whatever. To whether 10? Um, it's probably going to have to be uh, longer than 10 because that is, just move it out just a little bit. Out, okay. Yep. And then did you know that you can select all of the letters, including your T and S. Okay. Go to align, distribute horizontally, distribute evenly. Yes. It's doing weird because of this. It's doing weird because of these letters. And because I like had done them all weird. Okay. But normally you would, I can, sh we can do that with a shape. I, I have better luck doing it with shapes. I've never oh, so actually it done it with fonts. Have you done it with fonts before? I had and thought it worked, but maybe it didn't. It could be because I've like twisted the fonts and stuff. That like might that. be it. But anyway, that's just a little tidbit and a hack that you all, um, mm -hmm. just to let you know, like with our hack book, hack book, we only have a few spots left. We just opened it up a hundred more yesterday. Yes. Make sure you jump in on that. Yes, I love okay. it. Okay, now we are at our fifth hack. Are you guys loving it? Are you guys learning new things? Also, Tammy just joined annual membership. Congratulations. Ooh, ooh. Yes, that's awesome. Captain May, I love how I'm getting your graphic design degree today. Hey. Okay. Literally. Literally. Um, so the next one I want to talk about is um Oh, this one's fun. Okay, I have an example, sort of. This isn't the example I wanted. This is a really good example, but I was gonna show you guys another kind of way to do it. Uh, we've been using this hack a lot lately. This is one of my- We have been. We have, and it's one of my favorite design techniques. This one we did a little bit. Like, I don't know if you guys can see. So the claws is kind of cut into mama. But instead of it just laying right on top of it, there's somewhat of a small white gap all the way around claws. Can you all see that? Yes. So we love to do this. This really, really makes your design look clear. It makes it look legible. You just want to make sure that when you're designing things that you're making them legible, especially if they're words. You don't want it to be like stacked on top of each other. Right. It starts looking murky and messy. And even here, we just did it a little bit, but it just makes such a difference because Otherwise, my vinyl would have been stacked on top of all of that, or I would have had to have too much space in between these upper letters and lower letters between Dolly. So in order for me to kind of scrunch everything together to give it that like pretty design, what we do, let's go into design space and I'll show you guys exactly how you can do it. So, oh, 
Let's move on. This is also a great one to do with names, like first and middle names. So do Ruby Claire on this one. Okay. Yes, we can totally do that. And I'll show you guys with a single initial too, because I was wanting to bring that Blair ornament in yes. here. Yes. Okay, so let's do Ruby. Let's do a capital R. Okay, I'm gonna make this bigger, Ruby. And then I'm gonna do a script for my bottom demonstrate name. So demonstrate, Lauren says demonstrate. Can you tell we have particular fonts we like? Oh, not demonstration, that is a cute font though. We want demonstrate, okay. So we've got, now I want y'all to see, if for some reason we wanted to use the same color, if we wanted to use a gray, Obviously, Claire is just like running all up into this. Like, even the L, if I brought it down, like the L is still overlapping Ruby. And it's just not the vibe. You know, it's just not it. So what I like to do, I like to pull it up here really close. I love overlapping text. I just think it looks so good. And change Claire to white so they can see, even if you did it in two separate colors, what it would look like. It's yes. still, or no, change it to red. You can see like red better. It's still like not giving what it needs to be. I'm gonna change this to like blue so you can just really see the yeah. offset and everything. Okay, so we've got our Claire right here and our Ruby. They're separate text boxes, okay? What I'm gonna do is select that bottom text box and I'm gonna add an offset. Now this does not need to be super thick, like a point one usually is my go-to. Um, and then I'm just gonna hit apply, okay. We can't stop there because it's still kind of like not super clean. It's still overlapping. So what we're gonna do next is select that offset layer in our panel over here. I'm gonna hold the shift key down and select Ruby. And then we're going to slice that out and then delete all of these extra layers. And look, I'll zoom in so you guys can get a good look. Now look, look how, how it just hugs that other font, mm -hmm. but now you can see both names. Right. I love it. And so you're still able to go in here and you can change and, the color and things like that. So um, I, when you change them both to the same color, I feel like go ahead and attach them together. Like it's still, it's just like so nice. Mm -hmm. And even if you needed to like flatten it and print it, you could do that. There's just, it just looks really good. I don't know. I just love how this looks. Um, now you can't go back in and edit Ruby. So make sure that you've got everything. Like I said before, before you start manipulating your fonts, make sure all your spelling is correct. I hate doing a project and I'm like, I have been working on this and it's completely spelled wrong and I can't undo it. So make mm -hmm. sure you spell that good. So. Anybody have questions on that hack? Anybody? No. Everybody's excited to use the glyphs. If you guys use any of these font hacks on your crafts, make sure to post them in our member only Facebook group because I love to see y'all learning and like incorporating. Uh, it's one thing to learn something, but when you take it a step further and actually like do it, yes. we love that. That's like, for me, it's satisfying. Also, I just, we just realized, and this is something I want our friends, because we have about 205 people with us right oh, now. Oh, okay. Um, I want you guys to stay around to the end, because we forgot. We <gasps> didn't give anything away yesterday. No, we didn't. So, we're going to give something away at the end. Yeah, we're going to give a little prize away. We even said at the beginning of the video, I think, that we were going to. We did not forget you guys. We just got carried away yesterday. We did. We, we had a lot going on we yesterday. We were having a good time. Um, so this is one that I like to do when I'm working with really teeny weeny fonts. So demonstrate is a perfect example. Um, this font is so pretty and we use it for so much, but y'all, it's Albuquerque is a better one. Albuquerque? Albuquerque. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go to Albuquerque. Because I've got demonstrate pretty small on HTV and still been able to, but Albuquerque always gives me issues every single mm -hmm. she's, time. She's a skinny girl. She's a real skinny, even on HTV, I have issues with Albuquerque. Okay, so fonts such as Albuquerque, and I'm gonna do a script font. I'm gonna do this in that demonstrate just so you guys can see what's going on here. If flexibility, I, do we have flexibility? I bet we do, because I love, it. that's a good one. Flexibility is a good one. Yes, okay, honey. That's it. Mm. Okay, honey. Okay, honey. Okay. So this, um, this hack is just very simple, but it's mainly for fonts that are so skinny 
that when you use adhesive vinyl, they don't tend to cut well or you weed them and the parts come off and like if there's eyes on, you know, it's just, we need to thicken it up. They're a little too scrawny to be cut, it, cut with the Cricut cutted. Um, so what I like to do is simply go to the offset and we're gonna add an offset. So we're just gonna add it like a point, I don't even know, point zero three. You can preview that offset by hitting the tab button. Instead of hitting apply, you can just hit tab and it'll show you the thickness change. Oh, I really? Think, yeah. Watch, I'll show you. Let's do point two five. So if, it, if I just stay there, it doesn't work. If I hit tab, it applies it. And I don't have to hit apply yet. <gasps> Hack. Another hack. I didn't know that one. I See, how'd you stumble on that one? I just have done it. I've literally done it forever. I have no idea. I've done it since I worked here. Like, I don't remember learning it from anybody. I just... Oh. I might have accidentally done it. Um, I couldn't honestly tell you. But anyways, there's another, <laughs> another hack for you guys. So, that allows you to preview your thickness. So, I think point zero .03 was pretty good, though. Point zero .03. Hit apply. Yep and then, or hit tab and then hit apply. Now it doesn't look like that much thicker, but it is. But look at that. It's, yeah, look oh, at the it difference. It works this so is, well. So the pink was before, this is the after. This is gonna allow it to cut so much better. Okay, so let me show you how to do this with the thicker font. I'm gonna change it to pink so you guys can really see what's going on. So this is um, Flexibility, one of our fonts. It's a script. I'm just gonna go up here, add an offset. It's already at the 0 .03. Make sure when you're picking the width of these that you're paying attention to the middles of the letters. Yeah. Um, the E is very small, so it's not really gonna, I mean, we could make it a little smaller, but you guys can see where the E is still gonna be cut out. It's gonna be so small, it won't matter that much, but we'll keep it at a 0 .02. And then I'm going to hit apply. And then you can see this is just a little bit Thicker. thicker and it's just going to cut better yeah but you still get the the aesthetic of the font that you wanted and obviously like you can't go in here and edit this this is just an offset so it's basically like an image of a word this you could still go in and edit so if for some reason you still weren't satisfied with that you could go back in and do another offset of it if that makes sense um so yeah any questions on that? Mary, mm. on the, Mary said, I guess I knew the tab hack without knowing it was a hack. That's how I am, because I don't know when I was doing it. Um, did you guys know you can move multiple items to another mat at the same time? I did, yeah. Kathy. I love, that is new this year, I think. Mm -hmm. um, love this hack. Click right above the apply button in the white space above it. Okay. 0 0.02, let's change it to 0.25 and see if that works. Yeah, there's another little way to do it. Just click right up above it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yep. So there you go, everybody. And I also keep it on rounded corners too. I just like the rounded corners personally. Now there are some fonts. I know, let's do that. It's a varsity, like varsity fonts. If I'm wanting to do an offset on a varsity font, yes. let's, I click square. Let's do this slice out technique with a varsity font and use the square to offset yeah. so they can see. So let's do Trojans. That was my high school mascot. What was your high school mascot? The Indians. Oh, okay. Let's do Big T. We've already done high school mascots on this show before, and my mom was the Boilermakers, and we were making fun of it. <laughs> and what did Megan say? The ga what was Megan? Oh, well, she's here. I don't remember. So if you guys had a funny high school mascot, please tell us. We love funny high school mascots. Okay, I'm going to change this to varsity. I think we've got it downloaded. <gasps> yes. Maybe. Okay, let's zoom out. Is that it? Yeah, but you have to ungroup to letters and move that O over. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. We need to fix that. Okay, I'm going to ungroup to letters and bump this O over a little bit because he's like hugging up on my J for some reason. See, listen, in Illustrator, I can hold the shift key down and scooch stuff over and it slides perfect, perfectly. Do you know what I'm saying? I'm going to actually scoop these in too because I feel like it's still spaced out. This is a good one. We can do select them all, Lauren, and align. I would do an inset on this one almost just because that R. Let me zoom in. 
I, I'm bad for working from really far away. I don't know why I do that. You see how that R? Yes. Like, I want more space in between the R. Yeah. I would almost do an inset slice. Okay. Also, I did that dang um, distribute horizontally, and it did not oh. do well, maybe it. It's so, just maybe it's shapes. just image shapes. Yeah. Okay. And now they're kind of wonky because I moved them around. I'm going to select them all align and center vertically and this is going to put them back on the same playing field somebody said there's where daniella says mine were the unicorns are you for real right no uh you a lie ah that's no, so funny you a lie i gotta see it i gotta see it i can't I gotta see it to believe it it's like a unicorn carly says the kicking mules <laughs> the kicking <laughs> mules that is so funny. Yes, Helene, this is going to be on our channel. This will not be taken back. You can rewatch and take notes later. Okay. Okay. You guys are so funny with your. We uh, were the school Canucks. C A N U C K S. What is that? I don't know. Kathy, you tell us. My college was the Penman because it's a university now. It used to be an accounting college. They were the Penman. Penman. Interesting. Um. One of them, one of, somebody, Jennifer's, a one dark. of my high schools was the Honkers, geese. <laughs> oh no, she did not use it, live in Canada. Becky was a dart. A dart? Like, my school mascot was a wheeler. What's a wheeler? I don't even know. Yeah. Debbie was, like, Debbie's was a Lynx. Like, Jen's, there's Jen's a whole, was a Ram. There's a whole PTO team somewhere that is just cracking up at some of these names. They're I like, know. Let's just call them the darts. And, there, and everybody was like, yeah. That sounds Everybody's great. Everybody was like, yeah. Have you watched those TikToks where it's like, <laughs> they're making fun of like uh, college, for example, UT. Yeah. Like, um, we're the volunteers, but we're represented by Smokey the Dog. Oh. Uh, and our alma mater it. song is not Rocky Top. It's like something completely random. Oh. Yes. That we don't know. And there was another one, another TikTok, where they were like coming up with names for like, for example, Alabama. Yeah. Roll Tide. Where did that come from? They're elephants. Oh, where did it come from? Yeah. I did, I'm sure there's some origin It's, a, it's story. a lot of stuff. But anyway, it's hilarious. If you, I can't remember the guy's name, but he does like uh, comedy on how colleges came up with like their their alma like their song their that's all awesome of this stuff. I'll ha now they're going to be on my for you page because my phone's sitting right here and yep. we're talking about it. Oh, uh, <laughs> UT! I meant UT like University of Tennessee, not Texas. Yes, we're in the old Tennessee University of Tennessee. Sorry. Okay. Um. Anyway, so we've got it back in design space. We have our font i've realigned it but we did separate it i'm just going to reattach everything back together um and we're going to do an canucks. inset rhymes with ducks it does a canuck is a canadian woodsman oh okay there you go gotcha okay so we're going to do an inset now if you want to do an inset it's just like an offset that we've been doing but you need to have a <laughs> negative so we're going to put just a literal negative sign here and I'm going to do a negative 0.0, or negative 0.1 maybe. Uh, hold on, let me cancel. i got to change the color of this because I can't see anything. Okay, select your font. Let's go offset. We're going to hit a negative. And then we're going to do a 0.1. Mm, let's make it a little bit thicker, 0.2. Oh, yeah. Okay, now this font is very sharp edged. So you can see the corners of the letters are very sharp and pointy. This is an instance when I want to use this corner angle so that all of my points are sharp. Now, let me go back to the circle one so you guys can see. Let me see if there's a good spot where there's a big difference. Well, it's hard to tell. But if you use the round one on a sharp font, sometimes it can just look a little weird and like bubbly when it's not supposed to. We want to use the corner font for this one and then hit apply. I'm going to select both of them and then go to combine and exclude. Mm. So it's the reason that it's not working this time is because we ungrouped to letters. Um, so it's basically, let me see if I can unite it. Let's unite, do the offset, apply, slice. I don't like what's happening here, though. The A? See? Yeah. Like, what is happening there? It's from the offset. Huh. Let's see what happens if we use the round offset instead. 
Let's do the round one. The round one actually fixes it. So huh. let's select them both, slice it out. So it's like you need... You kind of needed the round one there. I wonder if I do an offset instead of an inset if it'll look better with the sharp edges. Yeah. Let's see. Let's but, test it out, everybody. Everybody. Okay, offset. We're just going to do a positive 0 0.2. Mm, everything's so close together. Point 0.1. Apply, select, oh, I didn't change it to sharp. But this is what it looks like with the round one, okay? And then this is what it looks like with the hard edge. So it looks good with the hard edge if you do the offset. If you do the inset, you're gonna wanna do the rounded edge. So you can play around um, with the slicing that offset out and stuff. Um, but yeah, just some fun little hacks. Does anybody have any questions? Nancy, I'm using the Varsity font for Trojans. We also used Bell Bottom today. We used Claire, Flexibility, Demonstration. Uh, what else did we use? Albuquerque and Athlete. I think that's all of them. So if you guys have any questions, please drop them. If you are a new member, make sure that you all are going through that 30 Days to Master Your Cricut. It's in your courses. Mm -hmm. Do not skip it. No. Don't skip it because you'll be in our customer service questions asking us stuff that we taught you in that course. And I want you all to get a good foundation. That way, going into the Christmas season, going into all the birthdays that you've got coming up or whatever, I want you all to feel like, I know all of the basic knowledge and I can create the things that I want to create and feel confident in that. And I think that the 30 days to master your cricket is really like the ticket. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, if you guys didn't see the beginning of this live, make sure to go back and you can rewatch all these little hacks. All the fun. Oh, I wanted to show one more. I've got to show one more. Okay. Okay. Let's go overhead. This is, um, I want to show you guys how to use writing fonts. I just feel like that's something we should, I should show you guys. So this was written with my Cricut, um, but I love using our sketch font. So if you go on our website and search sketch, we have so many. I mean, I don't even, do you know how many we have? Um, There's quite a bit. I don't know, to be real honest. Lovely to see you. Oh gosh. Okay, well, everybody ignore that. <laughs> ignore this font. I'm gonna fix it. We gotta fix it. Fix it. So I'm going to type in sketch and look, these are just the ones we have downloaded. We have more than this on the website. Um, what I'm going to do is just, this is Albuquerque sketch. We used the Albuquerque regular earlier, but I love these fonts for writing on cards because I don't love my own handwriting. Even if someone says you have good handwriting, like no one ever really loves their uh, own handwriting. Yeah. You like, know what I mean? You know, yeah. Uh -huh. I just feel like it's not a thing. So. You can actually have the Cricut right for you. We've got tons of tutorials on how to do this on our channel. Um, but if you are using one of these fonts, I want you all to know that when you use them, you download them the same way that you would a regular font. But when you type it out, pay attention to this operation up here. So it says basic cut. We do not want it to cut. We need to change it to pin. So just go up here to this operation. You're gonna select pin and that's going to change this to a writable font and you, your Cricut's going to know, hey, put a pen in so whenever we go to do this, I can write it out for you. Renee loves her handwriting. I well, wish I did mine. Me too. Uh, me too. Um, so, and then there's other things that you can do, like you can change the thickness of the font, the color if you want to, things like that. This drop down has all these different options. So if you're using a glitter gel pen, whatever you're using, you can change it. Obviously, there's limited color choices for each one. Um, but yeah, that's that's about it. I'm sure there's other fonts that like I just am not thinking of right now, but those are like the main ones that I feel like I've incorporated. So Stacy says, okay, I'm just going to have to go ahead and give it up and bite the bullet. I need to go ahead and get the annual membership and keep it up every year just for the fonts alone. Yes, and the thing about Seriously. it, Stacy, is once you download those fonts, they're yours. Like they're We're on your computer. We don't have cut yeah. file police. We don't have a font police. Like they're yours to keep. But did you also know that if you are a member, whether it be yearly or monthly, you have, um, why did I just draw a blank? 
you have we were talking about font then yeah no like but i was yeah but i was gonna go i was talking about a commercial license there you go you have you have a commercial <laughs> license to use these fonts use these cut files and sell your crafts and not with no repercussions of us coming back and be like you can't do that yeah we're not gonna do that we're not to gonna you. do that um yes i did search sketch to find those la that last font that that's the for. easiest way to find all of the sketch fonts on our website mm -hmm. is um just searching sketch in the font section you will pull all of those up um sharon you can use the pin feature with any fonts um but they won't all be filled in now lauren did do a tutorial on how to fill in thick fonts with your pen a couple years ago that still would work today um it's on i think it's just called how to fill fonts in design space look for makers gonna learn and it'll be there sorry i was reading jenna jenna posted i found a site wackiest school mascots oh my i'm gosh. gonna have to go back and read all of those that is hilarious. Hamlin Pod Poppers. Bend Lava Bears. Galloping Ghosts. <laughs> we have to use it. We need to use these for like t-shirts and stuff. Oh my goodness. That yeah. That is so funny. I want a Galloping Ghost t-shirt. Me too. <laughs> that is so funny. Oh my gosh. Oh goodness. Okay. So any, any more questions? We're right at the top of the hour. I know. Um, and we'll be back tomorrow. We are doing a design your own Christmas card tomorrow. Oh. Also, while Stacy's talking about it, she said, you just answered my question. That's the other great thing about membership you guys answer questions for. I even know I have them. Absolutely. Another thing about membership that not a lot of people, I feel like a lot of not a new people know. So if you have, per, let's just say Cricut Access, for example, and you create all kinds of things, you keep Cricut Access for a year, two years, however long, it doesn't matter. Um, and you create a bunch of stuff using the files through Cricut Access. Did you know that once you once you cut off your Cricut Access membership, you no longer have access to all of that stuff that you created using their files? Right. That's not the case with Makers Gonna Learn. Right. If you create something using our files, it's still yours. We don't limit access. We don't come in and be like, you can't use that. That's a Makers Gonna Learn font or file or whatever. Yes. We don't take that away from you. You still have access even if you don't continue membership. Let's say three, four years down the road, maybe your lifestyle has changed and you're not crafting as much. Right. Um, you still get to keep that. Now, your license does revert from a commercial back to personal, but they're still yours. Yeah, and you can still use them for your personal So crafts. you have something, um, you have something to keep from our membership. And that's one of the biggest things. And right now, during this time, with the 30 days to match your Cricut printed off version, the $75 off grandfathered in, plus access to the Cricut, the Craft Hack, craft hack Handbook. handbook. <laughs> it's insane what you can get right now if you sign up for annual membership. Well, we've just never, I yep. mean, even us offering the 30 Days to Master Your Cricut as a physical book was like a really big leap. But uh -huh. then to offer the Craft Hack Handbook as well, it's just like you can't really beat it. Monthly so. monthly master class included in your membership. There's mm -hmm. like 60 something master classes from previous months that you can go back and rewatch. Yes. There is a they're, um, they're super fun. There is a resource library for you that has all kinds of like resources that you can print off and keep yourself. Mm -hmm. um, so many things. Yes. We have somebody crafting lover. Biggest regret is paying for Cricut Access and not knowing about losing all the stuff until I found MGL. Oh man. Well, we're glad you're here now. We're glad you're here now. Um, so also we've had a lot of people ask about the Craft Hack handbook. Those mm -hmm. are not, this is, we have, we have been very clear that this is a pre-sale for the Craft Hack handbook. We will be sending those out the first of tw like around the first of 2024, mm -hmm. um, probably starting like end of February, first of March ish. Um, so this is a pre-sale for that Craft Hack handbook. You all are going to get access to that. You you get your if you sign up now, um, whether it be annual membership, Maker's going to sublimate, um, Makeathon, any of those, you get a book that's going to be sent to you. Like I said, it's going to be a couple months before you do get that. Right. So just be aware of that. Um, but you are going to get it. You are getting it for free with whatever program you get. After we finish this, it's going to be done. And when we do officially launch it, it's going to be its own separate thing that you're going to have to pay for. Yes. So just keep that in mind. Yep. 
Um, yep. We will not forget the giveaway. Oh, we, we didn't. Forget the giveaway. We did not forget the giveaway. Um, so what are we gonna give away? What are we gonna give away? Oh my gosh, I don't know. I don't like to pick. Is the pressure on me? Because I host fifty dollar Amazon gift card. Done. Okay. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So if you guys want to win an Amazon gift card. Put your favorite font that we use today. In the Nikki, box. yes. If you upgrade from monthly, you do get the handbook. You get the printed off 30 Days to Master Your Cricut Challenge, and you get the handbook. Sadie, drop that link for her to upgrade to yearly. You'll get that $75 off Craft Hack handbook and the 30 Days to Master Your Cricut. Okay, if you guys want to win a $50 Amazon Let's gift card, go. drop your favorite font in yep. the chat box. We have them open right now. Should we change this to live chat? Yeah, or I'm going to have Sadie. Uh, pick them anyway. Just Say, well, I know. I just be liking to see what everybody's favorite. Oh, fonts are. favorite fonts. Yes. Oh, Claire, Claire, Claire. I think they named that after Ruby. Do they think? did. Oh. Courtney said she did. We have a Ruby font too. We have an Asher font. When do we get an Asher font? I swear we have an Asher font. Do we really? I don't know. We need to look. If no, we don't, don't look. that's a great font name, Courtney. <laughs> hint, hint. Hint, hint. I don't think we have. We an need Asher a font, font named the Real McCoy. We do. We don't have a font named Lauren either, oh. or Alicia. Wow. 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 Mm. Disappointment. Disappointment. Well, maybe next month it'll be our chance. <laughs> Holy moly. There's a lot. Of, been, we've got like over 200 people here. Everybody's loving Claire. Okay. Alexandra. Sadie's going to pick a winner. Okay. I think we've got somebody. Ready? Okay. Aw, oh, drum roll, please. Da, 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 da. Congratulations, Karen, Karen Dietz. Karen. Yeah, yeah. Congratulations, Karen Dietz. So make sure to email us with your best, uh, best mailing address. Nope. What? It's your Amazon. Your best Amazon email. Your only Amazon email. Your only one. <laughs> Do people have more than one? I don't know. Oh, they okay. shouldn't. Okay. Well, your best Amazon email. Only email. Amazon email. I'm sorry. Congrats, Karen. Okay, we will be back um, tomorrow at yep. 1.30. We're going to be designing our own Christmas cards. Oh, and these are so cute. We're putting them on printable magnet sheets, but you guys can put them on cardstock. Y'all, that's one thing that I wish I would have thought about is putting Christmas cards on printable magnet sheets. I know, or even like, you could even do like a small little Christmas like you could do an ornament shaped one to mail to people. It doesn't yeah. have to be as big as like what we're doing tomorrow. With just a picture on it. Yeah. Because I love having like picture magnets yes. on the side of my refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep that over keeping a card. Oh yeah, me too. For sure. Like I'll have them from someone's wedding or something just yes. because it's a magnet and I'm like, I can use that. Uh-huh. <laughs> okay, so we'll be back. I hope you guys enjoyed today. I had a good time.